it's an amalgamation of multiple cultures. Like um, last year, I met Yoriko, who was from Japan, and this year, I'm uh, I've spoken at length with Noam about Israel. And you read about this, you watch them in the movies, you see them on the television. But when you meet someone from the country, I think I'm the you're the first Scottish person I'm meeting, and we spoke about so many things that day over dinner. So uh, coming together with a common passion of dance and uh, as performing arts and making that a platform where you can share, where you can talk about your experiences. I think uh, that's as much as you can learn from a workshop that you could go to. But knowing that how, I spoke to Richard for instance and he told me that how it was in Australia and now he's to the UK and how his life has been so far. It, my sensibilities increase, my understanding of the world at large. And I think the fact that music and dance has no language and it goes beyond barriers is established when you deal with international dancers. That's something I learned. Kids were amazing. Yeah. There was one boy there. Right in front, like, right? No, yeah. but not in front, in the back. Oh, yeah? Smaller yeah. one. Yeah. He is so amazing. He has the groove, you know? You can see his movie. <laughs> I love teaching kids. Um, they were brilliant. They were really brilliant. And I think the, the innocence in the adults took me surprise. Just how, how hungry and how humble they were. The dancers here are quite amazing. The way they're devoted to dance and to each other is just incredible. Very, very touching. And it seems like friendship is the highest the highest goal here other than anything, which is amazing. It's not always like that in art world, so it's great to see it and to be a part of it. It was just it was such a pleasure. I came away with the biggest smiles. I really enjoyed the festival. I just loved the workshops. I loved the teachers who conducted them. I think how much we packed into that weekend is just, oh wow. I think I was the 12th class that everyone, was, that everyone completed and they gave me so much energy. I can't believe it. Mm. It just, you know, most, many didn't take any breaks. It was from start to finish every day and that was quite inspiring. It's a very good thing that we are doing in Pona, that uh, we are actually part of this festival and taking part in the workshops, uh, which will add to the cultural, I mean, the dancing history of everyone in the city, every individual in the city. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Yeah? The feeling of being in the festival, organizing it, you know, it's been like eight months we were working for these three days, and yes, we made it, we did it. Oh, I don't know if I can find that anywhere else. I hope I can, but it's definitely what what is here at Ava Yava is so unique to India, so unique to to Pune, to this environment, and um, I'm just honoured to have been a part of it. Really.